Hi, my name is Daisuke Muramatsu, and today I want to share a perspective with you. A perspective that could change your life dramatically by living in the world of quantum mechanics. Before I start, you may want to know who I am, right? Well, I love karate, and karate was a huge part of my life. I placed fifth in the national and public university karate tournament. Then I graduated from the University of Tokyo Faculty of Engineering in 1998. All of my experiences led me to this amazing perspective that changed my life. And it may change yours too. Don't worry, I'm not selling anything. In fact, it's absolutely free to try out this perspective. Have you ever thought you have the power to change the world? And what is truly amazing is this. Did you know we all have the ability to change the world? Well, we... Yes, you. That's right. Together. We can change the world by understanding quantum mechanics. Let me give you an example. When you are irritated by your child, partners, or others, you may be showing this frustration by frowning your face, or you may be talking much louder than usual. Have you thought that you are emitting something? Let me show you how it works. When you think or say that you can achieve something, a tiny particle called a photon pops out of the electron cloud, which is inside the DNA in your cells. Basically, your conscious and unconscious state of mind comes out from all of your, all of your cells and constantly emit information as photons, quantum particles of light. Plates are about pop call them biophotons and claim that they are phenomena emanating from all part of the body. According to Dr. Fritz R. Pop, a German theoretical biophysicist, our conscious is the light of elementary particles, which are called photons. Will you please imagine photon? being emitted from your head, stomach, to tonnes, and even from your blood? So, what does it mean? I believe it means that your whole entire body releases invisible light and is illuminated. With that in mind, here is my theory of life-changing perspective. Our mind is made of pollen and our state of mind is constantly broadcasted throughout our body. Please note that I only learned quantum mechanics at the university and I'm not a researcher. Even so, I have changed tens of thousands of people's lives of applying this unique future's quantum mechanics in real life by sharing my perspectives. Let's Take a look at the relationship between our physical world and the quantum world. Photon is a component of electromagnetic energy. They exhibit properties of both particles and waves. Light also exists as an electromagnetic waves. Next, I want to share visually a glimpse of a quantum world. Here is a goal. Imagine your surrounding environment is getting bigger and bigger, and now this girl looks like a giant. If you continue to get smaller, skin will look enlarged and erect, like a landscape continue to get smaller, and you will start seeing cells. You can now observe the individual cells. Try to continue and imagine this process as you zoom in on the touch screen on, of your smartphone, then there is atoms. We were taught in university that there is an, a fog called an electron cloud. What does this cloud substances look like? 
is like this. Inside the atom is very roomy. What you just saw on the screen is actually mirroring how your body is constructed in the quantum world. Have you ever taken an X-ray before? The X-ray is also an electromagnetic waves and photon. And since your body is in a foggy state of with an electron cloud, the photons pass through of your body and the image captured. Your body is mostly made of empty spaces. If your conscious state of mind can be emitted as photons, then saying, I can do it will emit positive photons from your body. It doesn't stop there. It actually affects not only your body, but also the body of the person sitting next to you, the walls in the room and the whole space around you start resonating with their positive points. If you say it's totally disaster, then those hopeless vibration resonates through the surroundings. Similarly, if you say thank you, the surrounding environment will resonate with your thank you vibe. So, ultimately speaking, your environment is created by your state of consciousness. We resume get smaller than at the center of this atom, there is the atomic nucleus, which is composed of protons and neutrons. Your body, as well as your blood disk, the have uh, energy particles inside the protons and neutrons. Everything is made of elementary particles. Let's take a look at the even smaller world. You start seeing this elementary particle grow bigger and bigger. What do we see next? This elementary particle is made of dancing and twisting moving strands. These moving strands are termed strings in physics. Yes, you know, super string theory. These strings are moving freely and vibrating in the vacuum of space, which is shown as a black area, black area in this image. As we continue to zoom in on the, on this black part, we are now in the, in this expansive infinite vacuum called the zero point field. Strictly speaking, string theory currently exists only at the theoretical level. The assumption is that it would provide us with a calculable formula in physics for making sense of the universe if the theory proved correct. However, if these strings do exist, this, their behavior could scientifically account for many difficult questions about the nature of the universe. Taking this concept into account, you, me, smartphone, air, and building are made, all made out of strings and there is no true boundary existing between you and me. If you can imagine your body as a huge complex of elementary particles, you may soon find yourself connected to the persons in front of you, the chair, and the walls around you. And when you gaze into the zero-point field, you start to understand that it is this field which creates everything that exists in our world, including us. Yes, you were born from this zero-point field. The zero-point field exists right here, right now. That's why I want you to physically experience the field for yourselves for real. The vacuum that exists here and all around us is the zero-point field. Zero-point field is not far away, and there is no real boundary between you and me. In this realm, when you say or think, I hate you, to someone, you are actually saying it to the strings of that, that person's body, which are identical structure of your own strings. 
we all tend to blame others for the bad things at hand, but it is the result of the frequencies you are emitting to your surrounding or to yourself. Therefore, your consciousness has created a problem when you say or think, I hate you. In summary, this image shows the special concepts of classical mechanics up to this point. Beyond this point is the foggy world of quantum mechanics and even your body exists on the left. Using this analogy, when you feel negative toward others or our surroundings, you emit negative photons that resonate the, and see the world negatively from the right. You feel disconnected because you feel dissonance. Whereas if you feel togetherness or love, such as when you're holding a baby, you are looking at the world from the left. In essence, you exist in the material world on the right. And also, your consciousness animates as the integrated world of, of the, on the left. By keep seeing the world from the left, you can maximize your life. There are no others in the world. We are a part of living systems and only particles are all intertwined and in interconnected. Imagine that we are all connected on the giant net and we are all a part of each other. Our state of consciousness shapes our daily life. All the universe's information is converted inside of one single emery particle and your intention or how we observe will change the outcome. If our consciousness is peaceful, we create a peaceful world. If our consciousness is in a state of criticism, we create a world filled with criticism. At this very moment, your current consciousness is echoing directly to the earth. Are you feeling serenity inside your heart? Together, we can create a peaceful frequency that reverberates the earth. Thank you so much.